Hello and welcome. If it is your first time here, hello again. If you are returning, welcome back. This is the second part of the Tales of the Jedi. This one is a little different from the first part. I hope you enjoy it and let me know your thoughts in the comments. What are you doing? I wonder if we're going to continue with the descent of the Count in this one too. Master Wait, what? That's not his name. Planet, what are you doing? Deleted. Archive data. Deleted. Is he looking into the dark side? Why would you delete information that you look up? What's causing all the excitement, Master Jocasta? Your apprentice. It would seem he has encountered a Sith Lord. Qui-Gon Jinn always had such an active imagination. I'm sorry, active imagination? That is so condescending and rude. How do you say that to someone with a straight face when they just told you there's a possible Sith out there somewhere? I heard of your report to the council. I gather the council was not eager to validate that conclusion. Of course not. Maybe he just imagined it. Maybe he just thought that he saw a Sith in the desert. Maybe it's all just in his head. Ridiculous. There's no reason to cause undue alarm. The system of the council is to be cautious until we know more. This is how y'all got destroyed. No offense. The Sith Lord is not to be trifled with. And I will not be there to protect you. I know Dooku was sneaking around, but has he officially turned at this point? Does he know who Kaiguan saw? Did he send the Sith out there? You need not worry, Master. Obi-Wan fills that role now. Master Dooku, are you alright? They grow up. No, so he fast. is not. This is tragic. Count Dooku really seems like he loves the Jedi's and his organization, but he was pushed away. I used to bring Qui-Gon here. He was fascinated with this tree, having been born here on Coruscant, planet of steel and stone. Is Qui-Gon actually dead? Because I thought he was much older when he died, right? The council is leaving for Naboo. The funeral is to be held there. I doubt I would be pleasant company. Okay, so this might sound terrible, but did slash would Dooku set up Kaiwan? I'm trying to remember how Kaiwan died, but I can't remember. She's following him? Do they know something is up? And do they know that he pulled something up and then deleted it? This is how you die, ma'am. Gone too far. Is that Palpatine? Why gone Jin bowed more to kill him? I do still feel bad for Dooku, but you're working with the Sith. Like, what did you think was gonna happen? Could have been a powerful ally for you. Question my Loyalty? I have betrayed everyone and everything I know. You have been loyal to a greater cause. I have a question about how much Dooku know about Palpatine's other plans. Like, did he know he wanted to be Emperor forever? Was he played? And to what extent was he played? How many have died? Such is the price of freedom. Freedom to control the galaxy, you mean. Freedom to round people up and do whatever you want to do and be emperor forever. That's what you mean. No. Why would you pop up? Why would you show yourself? You have two people going against you, ma'am. Why do people make terrible decisions? They can't let you live. Whatever your crimes are, help me now. Make up for it now by bringing him to justice. Ma'am, I don't think this is going to turn him. The only person I think that could have turned him was Kai Guan, and he's gone. And I'm not even sure about that, actually. The sound effects in Star Wars are so good. Especially when they're doing their fights. I stepped down from my position. You were right about so many things. Council should have listened. I don't think telling him that is actually going to do what you think it will. I think it will just piss him off. 
all of this could have been prevented if the Jedi's just listened and even moved an inch. Running back to the That's tragic. It is you who has run Dooku into the arms of evil. It is true, but also he was kind of pushed that way. Again, this could have been prevented. Systems either change or die. <gasps> no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus freaking Christ. Are you serious? Oh, thank the Lord. Okay. I was like, did she just get crushed to death? Good Lord. Ma'am, you're still gonna die, but I just didn't want you to get crushed. Is she dead? You're very, very powerful, ma'am. I want only to bring peace and order to the galaxy. So many have suffered for what you call order. And so many more people will be hurt because of your decisions. And you're not even going to get the peace and order that you want. <laughs> Let me give you peace. Oh, no, I don't want to see this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ugh, look at Palpatine with this dick face. What a tragedy for everyone involved, especially Count Dooku. You're right on time. Oh, really? I thought I was late. That's what I meant. Is this a test for her Jedi certification? And why are there people watching? Okay. Dang, girl. That is amazing. Dang. Nice job, Ahsoka. I feel like I'm saying your name wrong. Any thoughts? You don't want to know. What's the problem? It's a lousy test. But it's what every Jedi does. Exactly. Oh, he just hates the system. Do you want a real test? Name it. Okay, I'll make you an actual test. Anakin being Anakin and Ahsoka being Ahsoka. Hopefully no one gets hurt. You're right on time. I thought I was late. That's what I mean. <laughs> Captain Rex and the boys have agreed to help with the test. Droids are predictable. I want you to be prepared for Are anything. we about to do something terrible? I hope nobody gets hurt, y'all. Feel the intention of the trooper who will fire first. You should be able to sense the moment before they even pull the trigger. Oh, Jesus. That is stun. How long was I out? An hour. An hour? Yeah. Stun knocks you out like that? Okay. God dang. What if it was not on stun? What were you going to do? Get vaporized? God. You're about to get knocked out again, girl. <laughs> Ooh, oh jesus multiple <laughs> how long were you knocked out this time again. again how many times does she have to do this anakin you're being ridiculous again again this is not how you treat your padawan you're being a little harsher you need to calm down a little bit the droids aren't half as good as Rex's men. That's the point. This is about life and death. The best way I can protect you is to teach you how to protect yourself. I'm trying really hard not to like Anakin because, you know, we know what's going to happen. And every time I see him, he seems very friendly and very caring. His relationships are great and I don't want to like him, but I'm liking him more and more. And I'm going to be real sad when he finally killed those kids. Let's go again. Oh, is she a god again? You were doing good for a moment. I can do better. Better. Good job. Oh, she got the moves though. Ahsoka is very good. Oh, almost, almost. You were almost there, ma'am. Keep trying. Let's hope all that training pays off. 
What's happening here? You know what? I really like the clones. I feel terrible for them. I think they deserve better. But sometimes they scare me a lot. In the back of my mind, I'm like, what are you going to snap? He's trying to see if she can defend them. At least I hope that's what's happening. Is that Padme? Senator Mon and Organa. Ahsoka? Why is she here? And what era slash year are we? You shouldn't have come here. Why risk it? She was my friend. Oh, how tragic. This must have been so sad. If you need anything, you can contact me with this. I'm tired of fighting. The person that trained you, who pretty much kind of raised you, is dead slash evil. How do you even recover from that? I'm afraid no one's allowed back here, Senator. Imperial orders. Order and peace, Dooku said. Order and peace. It's easy to get lost with all that has happened. We have a duty, don't we? An obligation to uphold when we're able. <laughs> They're like, what is he talking about? Like, this man is crazy. <gasps> Wait, what? He came with her? How? Was a chip removed from his head? You're piling them up too high. Again. I know what I'm doing. You can't leave it like that. I'm hungry. You suck. Oh, no. Is she gonna save her? <gasps> is that girl okay? You are <laughs> lucky. Oh no, she saw her. I hope she doesn't snitch on us. No one can keep up with the Imperial Crotus. In the beginning, you all welcomed the Empire. Not as warmly as you. Emperor Palpatine brought peace. Sir, they're rounding up people just because. No one is safe. Only if you aren't loyal. They can just claim that you're a rebel, idiot. Is that that girl's brother? I don't trust him. He seems shifty and shady. And he looks like an idiot. Don't forget. We have to take the harvest over to Monhella tomorrow. That path can be dangerous. But we'll be fine, won't we? Master Jedi. Please stop that. You need to shut the f up. Don't worry. It's our secret. Your brother is an idiot and untrustworthy. And he probably heard. Of course. You're going to get your whole entire town in trouble or killed. See you tomorrow. May the force be with you. You disgust me. This is so dangerous. I hate this kid so much. This moron is going to get everyone killed. Is that the town? Oh my god. Are they all dead? You claim a Jedi was here, and yet I find no one. Why would you report someone if you think there's a Jedi around? She's not doing anything. Shut up. Mind your own business. Find something else to do. I turned her in. I, I should be rewarded. You're an idiot. I despise you, sir. I despise you. It's not lying. See, I told you they'd be back. You're so pathetic. What a loser. You suck. Here is your reward. Thank you. No! You got all of those people killed. He should have died. Dick. Oh. <laughs> I do have to say that I love the Sith lightsabers, especially the circle handle. I feel like I would cut myself <laughs> with that, but they look really cool though. Looks like I shall be rewarded. You might die, Dick. Don't underestimate the girl. Yes. What? What? <laughs> that was a quick one. No one messes with the girl. Nobody messes with Ahsoka Tano. She made a lion tiger carry her home when she was a baby. Put respect on her name, dick. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Really? Were you? Because you were asking for a reward before a dick. You disgust me. I despise you. Please, this way. 
things have only gotten worse. Are you sure you're ready to get back into the fight? This was great. These episodes were fantastic. The six episodes complemented each other well. They worked together to tell one story. I think the series was extremely well done. I liked it, but I do think I would have enjoyed it more if I knew the whole story because there are questions that I don't want to look up and some timeline things that I'm confused about, but I don't want to ruin it for myself. The Sith Lord episode continued to add to my growing dislike of the Jedi's, specifically the Jedi Council. So many lives could have been saved and you could have kept your best Jedi's if you only tried. In my opinion, <laughs> this is my opinion. I think the Jedi's are arrogant. They think they know everything. They think they're above it all and they are very slow to change. And all of that contributed to why you all got killed. I also feel like they should have either been a part of the Senate, like have actual power and a seat in the Senate, or they should have just left and be by themselves and never interacted with the Senate at all. When it comes to Dooku, his flip is understandable. His reasoning is understandable. But I do wonder to what extent was he manipulated. Palpatine is Palpatine. <laughs> I feel like he was manipulated to some extent. And I just want to know how far that was. I do look forward to seeing his feelings towards his decisions later on in life. When it comes to Ahsoka's episodes, the brother from episode 6 pissed me off. I hate him. I wish he died. I don't know why you care so much about her being a Jedi. What does it have to do with you? I hope that all of those people's deaths haunt him until the end of his days. He deserved that. He got all of those people killed just because he couldn't mind his own business. So when I was watching this, I kind of thought that um, Ahsoka's episodes were kind of just thrown in there. They didn't have the same through line as Dooku's story and i originally did not like practice makes perfect it kind of fell out of place until i started editing it when i edit it and resolve together i appreciate it more and it made more sense to me because i feel like it shows us who ahsoka is and her relationship especially when she was fighting in episode six it made me think of anakin telling her about protecting herself and that's what he can do for her the best way i can protect you is to teach you how to protect yourself and that show that each of the episodes play a part in the whole story i feel like this is a movie that was just cut into episodes Overall, this was a really good series. I really enjoy learning more about Dooku. He is a very interesting person and I look forward to seeing more about him and Ahsoka too. I really enjoyed this and I hope you did too.